everyone and welcome to the video and today we are going to be the, doing the citadel of ring 8 citadel of constant heart stopping and the acronym i'm not gonna say because like it, it, it's not good anyways just do the, i'm just going to cat therapy and touch the orb and then you're going to be transported to this little obby Anyways, this is a long jump. I bet. No, no, no. Okay, this is a long jump, and don't hit your head somehow there. This is a long jump, too. Anyways. Here we are, the Citadel's portal. This is a very long Citadel. Pretty sure my, um, my first completion was like two hours long. Anyways, just some simple wraparounds to start it off anyways just go over here head on head on these kill bricks and then get the button and then just touch this block and then it'll spawn like a snake thing and you're gonna see this snake thing appear a lot more in the citadel anyways this citadel was actually a part of the Wacky Frame Contest. I think it won third place. That's why it got in here. Anyway, sorry for the cut. Just go over here. And then, uh, just, uh, for this part, just walk across it. Um, straight. I mean, forward. Anyways, we got some normal kill bricks. These are just normal kill bricks, by the way. Anyways, just. Uh, you do these on the end, or else, uh, it won't let you jump, because it's wedge, and wedge physics suck. Anyways, just go over here, then go on a little tightrope here. Anyways, just jump over here. Then just hold W and space for this conveyor until you get to this platform. Oh yeah, uh, this song sucks. Uh, this song isn't copyrighted, I just really don't like this song. Hang on, let me do something. Okay guys, I'm back anyways. Do some simple jumps. Pretty simple. Anyways. Wraparounds. What? Okay. Anyways, go over here. Those are not- that's not a skip. <clears throat> that's a- button platform if you didn't know by now anyway snake <coughs> oh by the way all the snakes in in this are actually based off of a tower so that's pretty cool easter egg anyways once you get i'm trying to speed run that then just jump back on there and then just go back backtrack and then these platforms will be activated by the way uh yeah about the um everything um and <clears throat> every snake block meaning a tower frame i think that was the toso one tower suffering outside one anyways go across this tightrope force damage then some head hitters anyways uh, there's a little wraparound you do. And then, this jump is kind of... I was about to say that jump is pretty hard, and then I failed it. Nice, I'm so good at this game. Anyways, I'll meet you back up there, bruh. Anyways, guys, let's not fail the jump this time. I almost failed it. Anyways, just jump over here. Then after that, jump over here then just don't jump on that just jump on here or you could you could jump on it but i just jump on that because like the, the other platform is useless oh you can actually see the river i'll be over there lol anyways jump over here you could also uh do um this but like why would you do that it skips like two jumps Anyways, this is the Tower of Rage, uh, snake block, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, just jump over it, I know right, I am so good at commentating. 
Anyways, jump in. And then just stay on the front one. Then once it gets some, um, so basically, once you're like right here, go to the very back in preparation for the next jump. Don't worry, that's not an insta kill. They just made it red. <coughs> Anyways, go on the back of this, and then just jump down like a reverse head hitter. Anyways, just jump over here. Uh, by the way, you don't actually need the snake block because you can just do that. But like, you can, you, you should just do that. Anyways, just jump down here, and then I can finally turn turn the music back on. <coughs> uh, this is this is a floor people do not like. Honestly, this floor is fine for me. It's not the worst. Because it has, like, actually good music. Anyways, just do a reverse, uh, X push your momentum jump. I know that was a mouthful. <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, you might be confused on what to do here. Just jump in, and then it'll bring you over here to get the button. Then you just gotta go back. Which is pretty easy. I'll meet you guys when I'm back there. Anyways, guys, I'm back over here. And then basically, this shadow part sucks. That's what mediocre commentary says. Anyway. Anyways, uh. Basically, uh, for this jump, use alignment keys, and then just, boom. Anyways, let's do this, and don't go over there, go over here, because that jump is impossible. Anyways, push the box on the conveyor, then just go down here. Anyways, just drop down here, and get the button. You could, uh, backtrack, go back down there and do the box push thing again. Or you could do what I'm gonna do. And you can just do that jump. And you're back. Anyways. Continue. How? How did I fail that? Anyways, I'll see you when I'm back there. Anyways, I, I finally didn't fail this jump. Just go down the hole. The hole. Anyways, drop down here. When we're on uh, eight. Anyways, now these are basically glorified beat blocks. So basically, you gotta get like a rhythm for them. Bah, bah. Bah, bah, bah. Okay, you just, just do what I did. Uh, you you can do it in your head, or you can do vocal interference, which is what I did. Anyways, turret part. Anyways, just this rap is kind of hard. Maybe let me see how I did. What? What was that? Okay, I'll see you back up there. Anyways, guys, let's not get flung. Oh yeah, by the way, this is ice. If you were wondering. Oh. Anyways, go here. Kinda just avoid the turret, it's really easy, so. Anyways, that's not a button, it's a ball spawner. So this ball section, it's, I mean, it's pretty bad when you first do it. It sucks when you first do it, but. Once you figure out how, it's pretty easy. Anyways, just make like a little wall here, and then just like, uh, do what I did, but like, actually push it on. I'll meet you guys when my ball's back there. I meant where, when my push box is back there, not the other thing. 
Anyways, guys, I got my ball on my push ball back here, and this time I pushed it on. Uh, don't do the strategy where you like jump on it. Just kind of just push it on. Anyway, there's a turret here, so maybe be careful. Anyways, I think this is the double trouble one. I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure. It might be the Tower of Niflheim one, but I doubt it. Anyway. Just wait for it to come up here, and then just drop onto it. Do a few more jumps. And you got the key. Where does this key go, you might ask? Let's drop down here. Maybe if you're playing this for your first time, then you... Uh, you might know where this key goes, and it's over here. Anyways. H. Anyways. I know, guys, I'm so funny. Anyways, you want the tightrope. Oh, wait. Alright, we're on nine. Yay. <clears throat> Anyways, don't fail these easy jumps. I'm gonna fail one of them 100%. Well, I didn't. Anyways. Just avoid the turrets. Anyways, uh, just hold W and space and kind of tilt yourself. Tilt, not the other thing. Anyways. Uh, these are basically like the nerfed ones on, these are basically the ones on 8 but nerfed. Now this is a times button. Yeah. Anyways, um, the times button goes over here. By the way, the times button is not uh, tight at all, so you can take your time. Ooh, I almost failed that. Anyways, no, that's not an insta kill for. Don't worry. Although it does take away ten of your health instead of five. Anyways, jump up here. Anyways. Here, uh, I don't, I don't know. You kind of just like do this, or you could do a two-step climb up if you know how to do those. Or you could be a little, um, you could be a madman and do a heli clip. Um, I mean, a heli lag high jump, but like, who would do that? Anyways, just go over here. Then kind of just flick over to that platform. Anyways, walk from that to that there, it's a lot easier. Anyways, it is time for banana building. Anyways, for these first few jumps, just don't fail them. Anyways, now we got a, a little bit of a safety net, but it only lasts like 10 jumps. Anyways, now once you get here, you, you're kind of safe. Oh no! Yeah, you can just do that. Anyways, if you fall here, you're not safe. This, that, that, you know. Yeah, so basically if you fall down there, yeah, you're going back to one. So don't fall down there. Anyways, we got, yeah. So basically this part right here is kind of like a, a little net. Cause you can just like, um, you could either um, heli light high jump over there, which is a lot harder. Or you could just do a little bit of a head hitter, cause like for some reason you can do that, cause it's low enough. Anyways, this is the worst part. <laughs> so basically, once you do this first thing, which you kind of just like walk around, uh, just drop down here. Don't do another walk around. Anyways, this is kind of slanted, so be careful. Ah uh, yes, low mid intense gameplay. Am I right? <clears throat> Anyways, so for this, this is what I do, which is extremely hard, but it's what I do. And for the for this one, uh, just like do that, and then just go back up here. And you basically made it to the next floor. Anyways, we are now on the safety net. You might think, wow, this tower seems really 
I mean, the Citadel scene is really nice. It has a lot of safety nets. Listen, this Citadel sucks. The Citadel sucks. I hate the Citadel. Anyways, uh, that first floor is pretty easy. Actually, I did like a little skip there. You get the re in the normal way. Just go over here. It, but that um, you can also just uh, do what I did and skip like this. Anyways, so basically, seven buttons. We need to get all of them. It's a button hunt four. Well, actually, it's a but. It's it's two fours of button hunt. Anyways, I'm gonna do the two scary outside ones first, cause like there's there's the scare the scariest. Anyways, it's time for you guys to see something very bad Z fighting how how did you not see this oh the z fighting oh it it it, it, it pain it hurts to see the z fighting oh you can still see the z fighting that's that's the one bad thing about the indigo challenge i already i already did um put it in issue reports they still didn't fix it anyways oh just get back there, and then the violet one, or whatever you want to call this one. Honestly, the worst one in my opinion. Because, well, it's kind of biased because I fell on it, so. It might be your favorite one. Anyways, for this one, just do a long jump, or you could wait for the shower to come back. Anyways, this is push box part. Anyways. Once this goes back down, then you can push it over here. Anyways. So basically, you want to push it onto this platform. But, um, but before you can continue pushing it, you gotta get this timer. So basically, all the timer does is activates this. Standard push box gameplay, not much to talk about. Anyways, the timer is not tight at all because, like, 90 seconds left, and, like, that this, this is it. Just, like, uh, what? Huh? I, I got that on recording. Uh, what happened? What, what, what the heck just happened? Huh? D did you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the recording and replay just to check that I'm not crazy. Anyway, guys, it turns out that I'm not crazy and something really weird did happen. Anyways, this is... Hang on. Okay, well... After this video, you're probably going to see my mic being louder because I'm probably going to have to find some way to increase my mic volume because for some reason this music is super loud. So I have to go like right next to the mic to speak and I don't want, like doing that. Anyways, now we're doing the orange challenge. Anyway, just try to avoid them but you don't really need to because like it barely hurts. Anyways. Yeah, th um, this, um, orange is basically just, um, spinner, uh, spinner spam. Um, I mean, conveyor spam. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, spinner spam. Anyways, got the orange button. And now we can get the yellow button, too. Honestly, the yellow button I'm not fond of. Because, like, once I failed on it, and, you know, I had to restart. I, wait, no. No, that was the time I, for some only reason you ought to heli kill it back in somehow anyways yeah um you couldn't do you got to do orange before you do yellow because orange um deactivates that wall there anyways simple gameplay this tower is very has a lot of things to talk about so this tap this commentary will have a lot of stuff to say anyways careful here because like you can fall there anyways this part sucks yeah this these are very long jumps 
then we are on a very long jump. We did, we did the very long jump, nice. Anyways, we got some walking simulator and some, actually no, it's climbing simulator. Anyways, jump down into this hole and you got yellow button, nice. Anyways, what, oh, bro, I almost reached it. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna make that three seconds. Also, I'm gonna meet you guys back up there. Anyways, guys, we're back over here. And so now we're gonna do the, um, whatever these challenges are. Anyways, just wait for her. This is, um, I don't know what this one is. Oh, wait, it's the Tower Thing Layers one, duh. Or is it? I think it is. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, there's the, we, the other one. I have no idea what it is. Yo, my friend joined. Okay, I'm close to check. Anyways, now we're doing Red Challenge. Anyways, uh, don't fall here. That's all I have to say. Go here. Anyways, now we got like very easy gameplay. And don't fall. Anyways, then get the per pink button, and then just drop down over here. Don't worry, that doesn't go like extremely fast or anything. Then you got the red button, and then next, uh, the last. Oh wait, we have. Actually, have like two more. How did how did I fail that? I'll leave you guys back up there. Anyways, guys, uh, let's not fail the easiest jump in existence. Then we got some waiting simulator. My friend beat TOTL, which is cool. Not gonna lie. Anyways, boom. Oh wait, no. Ah, wait, no. Don't do what I did. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot I already did that red challenge. Anyways, now we're doing a. Uh, I have no idea what this one is. Bruh. Anyways, uh, yeah, my foot skipped. It. Never mind. Anyways, uh, let's do a boom. Yeah. Uh, um, if you're trying to beat this tower, you might want to practice this jump because it's literal dog water. Anyways, just drop down this. And then you got a ball. I know. Anyways, you just gotta roll the ball. So basically, this part. What? Eh. Well, that's dumb. Anyways, uh, why are all my friends joining? Anyways, basically, first push the ball in and then go in. And then you can kind of just jump here. And that was the green button. And just saying, I I forgot where the blue button was. Uh, I'll cut back when I find where it is. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. Never mind. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, tightrope gameplay. Yay. Oh, I almost fell. Anyways, just go tightrope. Okay, I'm gonna close chat. Everyone is talking. All of my friends are joining and they're talking to me. Anyways, yeah, that was probably like the easiest button out of all of them. And since we're already over here, we can now ascend to 415, I think. I have no idea. And, uh... So, basically... Okay, this is 415. Also, let me do something. Anyways, I am back. I just closed my door. Anyways, these are kind of long jumps. Be careful. Anyways, these last few floors can be very obnoxiously annoying. So you might want to practice them, but I just went... I just sight read the Citadel, because, like... Uh... Why not? Anyways, yeah, the Citadel is not sight reader friendly. Might want to watch a guide if you're trying to sight read it. Anyways, I do these without. I'm, I do them without these without shift lock. But try whatever you want. 
Anyways, it is, there's the thin stud. Uh-oh. Anyways, let's do some jumps. Ah yes, just do some jumps. I'm so good at commentating, guys. Right? Right? Please give me a million views. Subscribe, guys. Anyways, this jump, this jump sucks. It sucks so much. So basically, um, if you fail that jump, sometimes you can do what I did. And you can, like, do a super cool save. Anyways. I did it! Yay. Anyways, if you have, uh, um, healing item, you want... If you have a healing item, use it on this floor. Because, like, there's a giant kill brick spinner, if you haven't noticed. Anyway. Yeah, if you get low, just take a couple, um, take a couple, uh, use your healing item. I mean, not, like, crystal or anything, because, like, only use crystal if you get to, like, two health. Anyways, you don't really need to heal. Oh, yeah, there's, like, multiple healing spots. If you're, like, um, above this area, then, um, you can, um, it's safe in the... Anyways, this jump- Oh, and the kill break spinner can't get you. This jump sucks! That's all I have to say. I did it, yay! Anyways, we are now on... 17. Anyways. Simple jumps, so far. And when we got more beat block gameplay. Bah, bah. Bah, bah. Bah. Okay, nice. Anyways, for this, kind of just, like, wait until you're at, like, the very edge right there. And then go on it, and then just hold W for this, and then go on the truss. You might be able to land on the wedge there, but I just go on the truss. Anyways, uh... Uh, back here. Not gonna fail the jump. Anyways, now we get a little break. Which is super nice, because I don't like this. Just kidding! Anyways, I know guys, so funny. Anyways, get this button, which is for some reason not timed. I mean, I like how it's not timed, but like every button in the Citadel isn't timed. Oh my god. Oh, I almost fell. Anyways, uh, for this, um, go, um, you, you can go slow on it, or you can go fast like me, but... You, you might, uh, you, you, you might fall a little. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I won't go fast. Anyways. Yeah, that part is just walking simulator. Anyways, this jump sucks, so make sure to align with it. Anyways, just flick up here, and then go to here. Anyways. Jump over here. Do a head hitter on the tr ladder, and then go over here. And then, you got wrap around. Anyway, this jump sucks. That's the easiest way to put it. So basically, go down here and boom. Uh, well, I, I, actually, I was talking about that. Um, from here to here, that, that was the jump that sucked. You want to be pretty precise. And a safety net, finally. Anyways, uh, just go up here, and this is a very long jump, by the way. Anyways, go over here, and this jump is a jump from Tower of, um, this is a jump from Tower of Vax and Hindrances, just do that. It's not as hard as it looks, but like, still, you might want to practice it. Don't worry, that's not an insta-kill. That is just a normal kill brick. Then got the outside and the good thing about the outside is that it's netted I, I mean that part isn't netted but like all the challenges are so we'll just be doing them in order of whatever I feel anyways just do that yeah by the way if you fall net I fell on um, on on well, at least once on all of these and don't worry I got saved by the net anyways uh, for me, I just like, um, I just hop onto here and then do it. Anyways, for this part, 
some people do it like pretty weird because like these took um these spinners are can collide true just uh do what i did anyways this part is kind of weird just go over here and you can see you're here just go on top okay then anyways a little bit of a hard wrap anyways just go down this tightrope and don't worry this spinner isn't can collide true or else it would just be bad Anyways, just jump on top of here, go over here, and for this jump, don't jump to there, just do a head hitter. Anyways, boom. Oh yeah, uh, hang on, so for this jump, you can either, um, you can do that, or you can jump to here and then do it. Either, um, you can try either one, whichever one suits you. Anyways. We're almost done. Just some simple head hitters. And then we got the red key, yay. Now we're doing the green one. And basically, yeah, this is um the memory platforms. Yeah, there are also there's also thin stud memory platforms. Which is not good. Oh my god. Why am I saying, oh no, there's a safety net. Oh yeah, these are also, and then you're safe for now. Um, you're safe from the memory platforms for now. Got one, well, we got one more coming up in a little. I mean, right here. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, I'll meet you guys back there. Oh, by the way, for this jump, I, I j um, once you're there, just jump to this platform, it's easier. Anyways, guys, we're not going to fail the thin stuff this time. Make sure to only go in. You can see it. Anyways, just go up this wedge. It's a wedge. So, yeah. Anyways, do a head hitter. Boom. Pow. And then, as long as you don't fail the thin, this thin stud, you got the green key. Yay. And then we're on the black challenge. Oh no, this one doesn't have a safety net. I'm just kidding. Anyways, just jump over these. And then this part is uh, extremely weird. I don't know, just jump. Try to do, um, just try to, like, do it. Ah, oh, yes, try to do it. It's kind of confusing. Maybe just try to do it in practice. And, uh, and then that was a pretty short one. You got the black key. And then we are at final stretch. Don't fail now. Anyway, oh wait, no, we're not at it yet. Oh wait, did they remove it? Oh, they removed it. Yay! I'm just kidding, they didn't remove it. Anyways, uh, that is can't collide false. You want to avoid that anyways. For this, just flick up or you could do the tedious process of going around and if you flicked up just go down and it's a gg anyways about the citadel, I think it's a really fun citadel if you're trying to re-beat it. But if you're trying to sight read it at first, it a it's absolute dog water, honestly. But it's like so much better. Um, it's so much better re-beating it than playing it for the first time because you actually know what to do and stuff. Anyways, that is the end of today's guide. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.